I'm part of the band. You're part of the band. <laughs> lot going on. A lot going on. You know, um, we're getting close to the selection being over. And uh, President Obama's going to be moving on, right? Obama, his, his term is just about over. So he's, uh, he's been looking for a job. Really? Yeah. Looking for a new job. And uh, recently, filling out an application, he got stumped on a question. Do you have any previous job experience? <laughs> yeah. So uh, he said, uh, job experience. But, hey, you know what, Obama gave a speech and uh, tried a little comedy, actually. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he says he tried it for the first time. He wanted to try some comedy. I thought, really? I thought he'd been doing comedy the last eight years. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ooh, Obama fans are <laughs> Trump is still talking a lot about Mexico. You know, he keeps uh, saying uh, about a judge, Mexican judge, university case. He's talking about the wall constantly, illegal immigration, you name it. And recently, he was giving a speech, and a jet flew over. Did you see that? Jet flew over while he was giving a speech. He looks up, and he says, look, everybody, Mexico flying a jet over us. They're going to bomb us. I said that. I thought, really? I know you're thinking the same thing. Mexico has a jet. So, you know, as this, uh, this election heats up, uh, the economy is just going, going crazy. <laughs> Everything is so expensive. Uh, we had to sit our two kids down, and uh, we're gonna have to, we told them we're going to have to let one of them go. Uh, so we, uh, we placed an ad on Craigslist. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm joking. Not Craig, no, eBay. Craigslist is dangerous. We put eBay instead. Seriously, though, the economy is so bad here in California. How bad is it? Thank you, Scott. No worries. <laughs> it's so bad that women now have resorted to recycling their plastic surgery. Did you hear about that? It's so bad, Hollywood stars are now being forced to actually use the sun to get tan. Mm, that's very really sad. Yeah. It's so bad that Beyonce was spotted selling her latest CD entitled Lemonade at her own lemonade stand. Mm. It's so bad that the director of the new Avengers movie that's coming out has uh, begun recruiting from the downtown Hollywood. Those guys in the costumes, they're using that one, so. It's so bad that That one was Kim, bad. <laughs> that was bad. It's so bad that Kim and Kanye will not be able to uh, afford to add children south or east to their uh, family. Instead, they're gonna focus just on north. North, north, we about that. Uh, they've even thrown the idea around of just uh, naming their new baby that's coming Hemisphere, so they cover all the bases. There that's you go. how bad the economy is. It's gonna be a big fat crowd. baby. Crowd it's a huge yeah. baby. <laughs> it's a big old fat baby. It's so bad. Listen to this. The economy is so bad. How bad is it? That the uh, gay pride parade and Chinese New Year parade have decided to unite, and now will be called the Gaijin Parade. Okay, well, as most of you know, we're here in Southern California. And uh, do you surf? You guys surf? You the surf, net. really? The net. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, you surf the net. I don't surf I almost drowned. Anybody surf here? Anybody surfers? Really? Oh, awesome. Well, you're going to love this. Uh, I thought it would be cool to start having a surf report. So this is something we call Morgan Lee's Surf Report. Thank you, Chucky. So today's surf report 今天很開心帶大家來到這個海洋我們可以遊水我們可以釣魚<笑> OK Wait, wait 我們還可以做什麼呢? 曬太陽呢? OK, awesome Do Back to checking
Okay, well, we have a great show for you tonight. Recording artist Nikita is in the house. So gather around the family. We're gonna have fun tonight. Give it up for Brian Duncan and the band, everybody. Ziggy Marley, Jeffrey Osborne, Sheila E., Tina Marie, and the list goes on. Please help me welcome Makita! Yeah. 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 I'm so excited to have you on the show. I'm excited to be here. Makita. Makita. Where, where does that name come from? What's Makita mean? Actually, there's a story to Makita. My name is actually Tiffany Makita. Okay. Um, and Makita came in later because my brother was praying for me. Mm. And um, a brief history of my testimony, at, at 18 I tried to commit suicide. Oh my gosh. So I didn't want to live anymore. And oh, that's wow. where one of the songs that I performed for you tonight came oh. from. And so my brother said, you have to understand that there is a mantle and I'm gonna fast and pray, and I'm gonna ask God what it is that he wants to do with you. And so when he did that, he came back and he said, Makita. And I said, Makita? And I was like, no, 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 no. My name is Tiffany, I don't want Makita. It was like I knew it was a mantle. It was something that I but had to an do. an actual meaning, because I yes. looked up Makita and all this. the vessel to pour. The vessel to pour, that's the beautiful. The vessel to pour. That's beautiful. Yes. Now we met. Yes. It's something we met years ago, and I was we were trying to figure out how we met. I think yes. it was through a mutual friend. Yes. And I said, I need a singer for this song I wrote. Yes. And she says, you got to get Makita. <laughs> and I said, okay. So you came down the studio, so yes. gracious, so kind. You came down, real humble. Yes. And and the reason I wanted you on the show was, you're the only singer, that, make me cry. I'm serious. You came in the studio, and you know, I think you were in there with, with uh, I was with this other guy, Tito. We were yeah. in the studio together. Yes. And um, we were there, and you started to sing the part of the song, Lord, I'm waiting. Yes. Remember that song? Yes. And it was about the, the coming of the Lord and so on. And man, a waterworks. And I said, oh my gosh, this girl, you sing beautiful. Thank you. And uh, I said, my gosh, you know, I got it. You know, I got to work with her. And so ever since then, you've come out, you've done some, uh, some, uh, some outreach work with that's us right. and stuff. That's right. Anything you, Pastor Yeah, you C? come out, you come out, you call, you, you call me Pastor C. <laughs> that's, that's right. right. Yeah. It, if I'm in town, you yeah. have it. You yeah. know what I mean? So, but it, I just had to have you on the show. Yeah. So what do you, you have a book coming out right now, Yes, right? Okay. I do. Tell us about that. Um, I'm writing a book. Huh, I'm in the process of a book called My Precious Oil. Mm. And it's about ending generational curses. Wow. Uh, and it's very so important. So you're deep. You're, oh, you're not I'm just deep. singing. You're, yeah, you go yeah. deep. I love that. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's really about getting getting down to the nucleus of all the eras so that we don't do it again. Wow. And that's going to be coming out real soon. Yes, now, October. Real quick, you have a funny story. I didn't know. We were just talking about, you know, we, we kind of do some Trump jokes and some Hillary jokes yeah. and stuff like this. And your mom, what, what, tell us about that. My What's mother that? was head supervisor at at. Trump's supervisor, at, not supervisor. I'm, I'm a supervisor. Jersey girl. I'm I just a Jersey got supervisor. Girl. Yes, um, at, at Trump's castle oh in New God. Jersey. I mean, since I was about 10, 11 years old, you know, my mother yeah. worked down there. And I was like, I've never seen, you know, the Don, like, yeah. yeah. Nothing that I'm hearing now. Right. I mean, I've loved this man since I was a kid. Wow. I love his ex-wife, well, Ivana. You know, She's you know, awesome. Politics and yeah. media, everything that goes out there. I, I don't know. I, I don't. Yeah. We try to clear, uh, stay clear of politics. I just say, but, God bless you. Yeah. You know. Yeah. All we have to I'm do just is glad, to God. You know, he's building this wall thing, so I'm glad. You know, I'm still here. <laughs> so yeah. You know, <laughs> can't de We're gonna deport do the wall it or anything. We're gonna pray, yeah. and it's gonna That's come it. down. That's it. So you're gonna you're gonna sing a song. I sure am. You're gonna sing a song. And you're gonna sing a song off this record right here. Yes. And that's called what? No Greater Love. No Greater. Is that the one? It's the testimony. That's the testimony. Oh, that's that's awesome. the song that uh, I literally smashed a car, and the car died, and I didn't. 
Wow. And while I was under suicide watch, oh the Holy gosh. Spirit said, you're going to live and not die. And I told God, you reached a part of me that I never knew existed. Now, listen, real quick, one word before we, before uh -huh. we go, you're going to sing that song. Mm -hmm. One word of encouragement, just one word, mm -hmm. to people out there that, that you know, see you, you work with some of the greatest yes. artists out yes. there. Um, you, you keep your faith, you, yes. I mean, you, you, you keep your testimony yes. in the midst of all that. Every time I talk to you, you're talking about Jesus. Yes. But you're in the midst of all this Hollywood and all these yes. singers and stuff. What's one word of encouragement you can give somebody out there? That's, that's in the middle of uh, a dark world right now to some, you know, that's. You never give up. You never lose faith mm. because God said we win. That's it. That's all. We win. We win. We I win. I like that. I like that. That's Listen, my motto. Thanks for coming on. Thanks and so we're going to have you soon. We'll be back with Makita right after this. <laughs> Chucky, don't be Whatever. ridiculous. Ridiculous. Whatever, bro. Whatever. This no. is the strongest metal on earth. There's I'm, no way you can win. Dude, bro, I love you, but I have to call you out. You're wrong. It would Chucky, totally, Chucky, totally cut Chucky, through. Chucky, Chucky. Totally slice Chucky. right through. It can't no, cut it, through. It, it you know I how know strong it this metal is? Yeah, you have no idea. Really? What's, really? What's going on here? What's going on? Hey, What's Pastor happening Phil. here? Man, you know what? He doesn't get it. It could totally. <laughs> no way. No way you could totally. cut through. This guy will win all Holy so ridiculous. What is, what's this all about? We, we, we could slice through. The, we could, the shield could, we could. Yeah. I'm so disappointed. Sorry, Pastor. But actually, the hammer could take you both out. When you began to heal me and deliver me from all of my ways. Cause when you found me, you chose me and you showed me what to do. And there's no greater love than the love I have for you. There's no greater love.
for you tonight. Our own in-house comedian, Mr. Punchline himself, is here and he's gonna make us laugh. So get ready for Mr. Scott Wood. Yeah. All right. Well, so nice, so nice to be doing comedy here. Of course, on the show, thanks everybody. Great to be, you guys are looking at me, you're like, hey look, John Elway and Gary Busey had a baby, look at that guy. But nice to be here. Uh, doing the comedy. Been married for 20 years. I don't know if you guys know, been married for 20 years, been happy for two. So that's exciting. <laughs> the wife is nuts. You know what I'm saying? You just, uh, you never know. And what a cook my wife. I mean, she uses the smoke alarm as a timer for crying out loud. I mean, how do you burn salad? That's what I want to know. But nothing so, you know, everything is a bother to my wife. Like she says, I watch too much TV. She says too much TV causes short term memory loss. That's what she told me, trying to scare me. Then the other night she said, uh, she said I watch too much TV. She says too much TV causes short-term memory loss. So I, <laughs> I like watching TV. They got too many spin-off shows. CSI, Arkansas, what the heck? CSI, Ar how do you solve a crime in Arkansas? There's no dental records. Am I right, people? <laughs> and all the DNA is the same? But anyway. <laughs> Oh, man. But I love to travel, though, and I'm driving a lot, and I gotta get a new car, man. My car smells like beer. I got the Toyota Corona. Anybody got that one? <laughs> got that wedge of lime on the window, man. And, uh, and the name of the car tells you all about the car. I'm looking at that new Infinity. That's how long it takes you to pay it off. I ain't lying, people. Last week, I hit a guy. Bam! I didn't see him. He was in a mirage. And there's no way, no way I'm gonna sit inside a probe. I'll tell you that right now, people. <laughs> the band is loving it, but they don't know where they're at. But anyway, the probe. But anyway, yeah, and a lot of small cars. The smart car, have you seen the smart car? 
Holy smokes, it's a football helmet with wheels, for crying out loud. This, that's a tiny car. My nephew got a smart car. It was in his Happy Meal. That is a tiny car. I can do the jokes again if you people, you're just catching up or whatever. <laughs> Ah, uh, the Happy Meal. I'm telling you, I love the Happy Meal. McDonald's is nuts. You ever been to the drive-thru at McDonald's? You understand that lady in the speaker box? <laughs> if I pull up to the front window, couldn't understand you. That was a mistake. She hangs her head out the window. <laughs> the manager comes out. What's going on around here? Anyway, nothing. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Hair Lit Burger. But anyway. <laughs> But I'm driving all over the place, so I get to see a lot of things. People drive nuts on the freeway. And I was reading an article in a magazine. I'm from California. It says California has the worst drivers. I couldn't believe it. I had to pull over and finish the article. It was... <laughs> I saw a guy shaving in his car. He had his leg out the window with a razor. Can you believe that? But enough about Chucky. But listen, people. In my life... She hates the way I drive. On the way out here, she kept saying, you're gonna hit someone, you're gonna hit someone. I told her in about a minute. I'll tell you that right now. Anyway, hey, I'm Scott Wood. Thanks for laughing at me, everybody. I appreciate it, thank you. Let's hear the round of applause. Come on, people. The heck? Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching tonight. I hope you had fun. If you'd like any information on the guests we have, my ministry, Log on to ChuckyPerezShow.com or write us today. I'd love to know you're watching and what you think of the show. So listen, until next time, keep laughing. Remember when and how it was in the beginning when I was with you, and nothing could separate me from your love somehow, some way when that. From my soul, it began on that day. But my heart was always willing to do what you said. You, you told me, you told me to come to you. Yeah, and you throw. of our Father's word will ever come back void. So get out of the way it looks and stand in what you know. The word of God is true.
Milestone Media is really more than just a production company. They're really a vital part of our ministry. They really partner with us. One of the things that I like most about Milestone Media is their professionalism. I came in with a lot of good ideas, but they're not just gonna do what I asked them to do and then give me a poor product. So they're gonna give me their feedback, tell me what they think is gonna work best, and I've always been happy with the results. From concept to completion, they really bring your idea to life. 